everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Collection Comic of the Week. The book I have chosen this week is going to take some explaining, but uh, it is, according to this, Ultimate Marvel Team-Up Issue 1. However, this is not officially Issue 1. This is a reprint of content in Issues 2 and 3. But the reason I, I've chosen this, and one of the reasons I picked it up, was, well, first of all, when I when I bought this, I bought this around Christmas of 2001. I'd had, a, you know, again, had some gift cards from Christmas to uh, Walmart. And walking around Walmart, you know, and kind of getting, getting what I can, and at that point, Walmart did not have the... The spinner rack in the toy department, or the rack up in the um, up by the magazines of comic books anymore. But I just was walking around and saw uh, a small rack of comic books, and I'm like, "Oh, I got a gift card. I can get these." And I did what I had to do uh, <laughs> every time I bought one off of the newsstand or off anything else. Looked in the back to make sure it had a conclusion. Said, "Yep, this one has a conclusion," and. Ended up picking this one up. It was uh, written by Brian Michael Bendis. And this is kind of as the Ultimate Marvel Universe was starting. Like I said, it says issue one, but it's really two and three. And I did subsequently go buy original copies of all of the Ultimate Marvel team-up books uh, in my collection. But uh, other than being able to, again, get a comic book from Walmart, one of the reasons I really enjoyed this book in particular is... It gave me a new perspective on the Hulk. The whole book is essentially just a fight between Spider-Man and the Hulk set in the new Ultimate Marvel Universe. But, you know, uh, to that point, uh, I, I didn't dislike the Hulk by any stretch of the imagination. But kind of when I thought of the Hulk, I just kind of more so thought of the Lou Ferrigno um, TV series of the Hulk. And, you know, that was just kind of my perspective on the character. Didn't really see the depth between Banner and Hulk, you know, uh, not saying that show is bad, you know, because it was a, it was a, it was a tremendous show, but this kind of gave me a new way of looking at the, the differences between Banner and the Hulk, you know, and, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a good book, well worth the, uh, little over two dollars of my, uh, Walmart gift card that I paid for it, so let's check it out. Yeah, see the cover there, just kind of a really, just a basic but cool cover, even if this just, Really liked it. Really jumped out at me. Uh, Powerpuff Girls advertising, which is funny because uh, Powerpuff Girls were a DC imprint by owned by Warner Media. So, you know, crossover. Ooh, we don't know. No, nah, there's no crossover. Uh, sorry, on the bugle. Peter Parks an intern, and I, I'm not knocking the artwork at all, but Peter really does in this particular shot look like a, a middle aged late church lady. Like, he's got, like, church lady hair, and that looks like pearls around his neck. Uh, he, he, he looks like a lady there. I'm not saying the art's bad. I, I like the art, but maybe not Peter drawn at his best right here. No, no offense. Uh, ben Urich. It's kind of your typical uh, scene starting off in, at the bugle. Uh, getting the, the call about uh, the Hulk. See, there, there you go. Peter looks better there. Uh, there's old J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And you see Spider-Man going into action here. Some good shots here. And... Ooh. The Recharge Collectible Card Game in November 2001. Uh-oh. Anyway, we got some Black Widow. Being posed very, very sexually, as as is uh, as is Electra there. Uh, good, good art there. You can see the the rogue and the storm don't look like they're doing quite as bad of a job, but you know these you know especially when you know what a badass both of them are to kind of pose them like this knows that we're in a little bit of a different time period right now as far as uh, women in comics. Great splash page here, and of course, classic Hulk smash. Gotta love that, and just, just really a, a 
just a really good comic book. It, it, the, the fight is what I remember the most from reading this and what I got back from it when I reread it here. Uh, you know, it's just, it, it's a giant, the, the art, you know, I kind of complained about how Peter looked, but the art told more of the story than the words and the dialogue because it's basically a giant fight. You know, you weren't reading pages upon pages of dialogue to to get the story and for me you know don't get me wrong i love i love uh a lot of dialogue i love jeff Loeb, i love chris claremont's writing but for me at age 12 at this time reading this book you know kind of i kind of have to read a lot for school so maybe a little a little less on the dialogue and a little more in the action and the art you know that was kind of more up my more my speed at least at that time and this this book answered that you know there, there you know like I said, it's not all it's not just a picture book there there's still things be said there's inner monologue it's great it just to me kind of had for for 12 year old geek the, the the best balance i could ask for <laughs> great great shot right here just absolutely awesome hulk smash and I miss these Juicy Fruit uh, ads. I always thought these were really neat. <laughs> I'd see them in my books. Yes, more, more of the fight. And, and not really a whole lot I can say about it, just other than it's a good book with a great, great fight between the Hulk and, and Spidey in it. Just... I'm gonna kind of doing his job, saving the day. It's being called a menace. Being called a menace. And then this is the part. This is probably the one part of the story that really, other than the fight that's out for me, is uh, let's see Hulk find a fish and find more fish, and he eats the fish. Just straight up, just eat the fish. And then that is what causes Hulk to turn back into Banner. And Banner is just flat out disgusted by the fish. And uh, this is kind of what I meant whenever I, when I mentioned earlier about the relationship between Hulk and Banner. You know, I was still used from the Lou Ferrigno, uh, Bill Bixby Hulk TV series. It was just kind of, you know, don't make me angry. I become the Hulk. Um... I gotta keep moving, you know, goodbye, because I don't want to hurt people until I can control it, this, that, and the other. But, you know, this kind of shows that there's a difference and kind of touches on the fact that, other than the fact that, that Banner was unable to control the Hulk and the damage that he might cause being the Hulk, that, you know, there's this there's this turmoil, there's this not wanting to be the Hulk, there's this, it ruins, it ruins being Banner that maybe I was too young to understand at the time watching the Hulk TV series, but I just find this is kind of what opened my eyes to that that relationship that had always been there. I just was unaware of it. Here's some more stuff. Spider-Man protects Banner. Uh-oh, and the army's after him. And he turns back into the Hulk and goes away. And... At the very end of it, and a tease of Iron Man being in the Ultimate Universe, but I never uh, followed up on that at this time. But you know, there there were more Ultimate Marvel team up books, and yeah, this was the reprint that I bought. It was good. That concludes the uh, that concludes the issue with this uh, anti uh, weed PSA here on the back. I guess this was a, you know, it was a good book. I, I really liked, the, the story was good. The art, other than the one time I kind of had to roast about Peter looking like an old woman. Uh, great art, great fight. The right amount of writing, the right amount of storytelling. It, it, it was a great book. Uh, glad I found the reprint of this and buried over there with the rest of the uh, comics is an actual uh, issue too where all of this takes place. So yeah. Something very, very well worth what was left on my Walmart gift card. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it. If you also own this issue, be it the Walmart reprint or an original, let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe for more content, not just from the world of comic books, but from the world of anime, wrestling, and all things geek culture. Follow me on my social media pages, facebook.com slash athleticgeek89, twitter at athletic underscore geek89, instagram at athleticgeek89, and if you'd like to help support this channel financially, I am on Patreon at patreon.com slash athleticgeek89. But on that, I'm out. Y'all be cool. Later.